My Blendtec review. This isn't a normal Blendtec review. This is a factory restored review. That's right. I didn't necessarily want to pitch out the whole, what is it, four or five hundred dollars. I mean, I can get a restored one for two hundred and eighty something. And it has the same warranty as a brand new one. Just makes sense for me. A bit frugal. Okay. This will be an initial unboxing. As you can see, the box came undamaged. Looks good, looking good, looking good. My little cat Mochi is going to help me. And we're ready to go. Alright, since I'm the cameraman, let's get this box opened up, see what's inside, and see what you can expect when you buy your refurbished blend deck. Alright, we are open. Let's see what we got here. We have a blend tech blend fresh recipe book. Good quality. Very nice. Not cheap at all. We have Total Blender Owner's Manual. And here we go. Here is the cap. See, very nicely packaged. Everything looks good. Let's dump her out. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this thing. Styrofoam is perfectly molded, completely intact. There's no damage. And there she is. Thing of beauty. All right. Looking good. Here's all of our settings, which I'm going to put to very good use. Our brand new wow, so BPA free jar. So, so right on the box. Which is also very plus. Bad stuff by Fina Malay. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Ooh. A little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be. Alrighty then. Sorry everything's kind of washed out. It's nighttime here. I go to school all day from about 4 a.m. to dark, so I'm having to use my, my lamp in the corner. Alright. All the little white spots you see are just pack and foam. Not a mark to be seen. Not a scratch. She looks brand new. Who knows, she might be brand new. Heavy duty cord. Velcro tie, very nice. On off switch. Very nice. Well there's the unboxing, very straightforward. Top-notch box, no damage, couldn't be happier. And uh, quality inspectors giving it uh, one last check. All right, well, stay tuned for some smoothie recipes I'm going to be using, some soups, and also the one thing about these blenders that I've read and heard that the bane of these blenders are is nut butters, peanut butter, almond butter, any type of nut butter. But I think I have a way around this. It's going to be pretty cool. So stick around for that. And I'm also going to have a couple of videos on cat food, homemade, homemade, organic, as good as you get, kitty cat food. If we get to eat good and healthy and clean, why can't our critters? Don't be chewing on that. That's an expensive court. And also some dog foods. I haven't figured out what the dog foods are going to be just yet, but I've already worked out where the cat foods are. I'm working on the dog foods. All right. Okay, Mr. Quality Inspector. You've inspected enough. All right, well, that's the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And any comments, please leave them below. Um, if you're thinking about getting a blend tech, this might be the route you want to go. I mean, they're really expensive blenders. They're supposed to be top of the line. And I saved two, two hundred. $300, something like that, buying a refurbished one. And we'll see how good this thing actually stacks up. She's not done. And I'm going to put this thing to its paces. Trust me. If it's going to fail, it's going to fail while I'm using it. Because I have a lot of stuff I'm going to do with it. And I'm going to try to make a video of every single thing I do. Alright, well once again, thank you very much for watching. And uh, stay Blend Tech Review. This isn't a normal Blend Tech Review. This is a factory restored review. That's right. I didn't necessarily want to pitch out the whole, what is it, four or five hundred dollars. I mean, I can get a restored one for two hundred and eighty something. 
and it has the same warranty as a brand new one. Just makes sense for me. A bit frugal. Okay, this will be an initial un.